Hey, what's up, my Doku's Jason? We're going back to more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we went around the Great Sea, completing basically everything, or almost everything I wanted to do, in the way of exploring certain islands, getting upgrades, as well as, you know, pieces of heart and treasure charts. This time, we're going to be doing something a little different. This video is going to be very vastly different from other ones. And it may actually involve, <laughs> uh, it, it actually may involve not a lot of edit, like a lot of editing, like not a lot of it. I may put, you know, a certain number of between these heart pieces and, uh, treasure, treasures or whatever. So, okay. But anyway, basically what we're going to be doing right now at the start is I'm going to be going around, this will be sped up with music. I'm going to be going around and collecting every single treasure that we have not picked up from the treasure charts. As we do have plenty of treasure charts to look at. And plenty of treasures to get. And so I figured it was time to, you know, actually, uh, actually see what they house. So I've officially opened up every single treasure chart. And we're going to go and, go and get every single one that we have not gotten yet. And, you know, we're going to work our way kind of around, uh, going to work our way kind of around from there. And then after that, we'll be doing something else. And then, you know, we'll hopefully be prepared to, you know, move on with the story. Anyway, I guess starting off, here we go. Uh, cue the music and the montage. Thank you. 
Okay, so that is every single current, um, every single current, uh, whatchamacallit, um, sal or treasure chart salvage that we have, you know, that we have on, on us. We will also take care of the rest of them later on once we obtain them. But for now, what I want to do is I want to buy more baits because we're going to need, uh, we're basically going to need it. How much bait do we have? Okay, we do have- it's full now, so. Actually, I think I'll buy one more- or one thing of bombs. Just to max out our bomb count. May have been a waste, but honestly, I don't care. So, the next thing that we need to do here is we're actually back at the Forest Haven, because... Do you remember those, um, Koroks who took those seeds out to the different parts- part of the ocean? Well, since then, we had a side quest open up to us, and it's a pretty lengthy one. I mean, I guess, I guess kind of a lengthy one. Basically, uh, there is now a side quest called the Withered Tree Side Quest, where basically they took the seeds throughout uh, many different islands of the Great Sea. However, if you go and talk to them, which we actually saw was one of them when we went to the cliff, but Cliff Plateau Isle, as well as Great Fish Isle. Um, the, the trees that they have are withered. They are not growing properly. And so what we, what we need to do is we need to bring them forest water and, and basically, you know, um, basically water those, uh, trees. So, we need to come all the way kind of up near the Deku tree, I think it is. Maybe actually even up here, now that I think about it, and thank goodness I bought that uh, third empty bottle, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this. But yeah, here we have forest water. We'll be, we can use it multiple times, but it loses its forest freshness after just 30 minutes. After that, it becomes normal water. So now that we have this, a basically a timer... Basically, a timer is now placed on us where uh, we now have 29 minutes or 30 minutes to do this entire side quest and get all of the trees planted. Um, all the trees planted, or I guess not planted, but watered, you know, before the forest water dries out. So, looks like we've got some sailing to do. Starting off, we're going to want to head over to the Cliff Plateau Isles. And. Up where we got that treasure chest, we're going to find that, um, we're going to find that tree. Alrighty, so here we are. So all we gotta do is just pour some water, and it will no longer wither. It will stand up. We need to do this on all of the trees, so let's go ahead and head over to the next one, which will be on an island that we actually haven't explored yet. Alrighty, so to the west of um, S Southern Fairy Isle 1, we have a map fish that we're going to grab. Why does it do that? I don't understand. It's like the best method to slowing the boat down, but like it doesn't w seem to want to work half the time. Here we have Shark Island. Now we can't actually do anything on Shark Island right now. Not that we could because we're on a time limit, but this we're going to want to keep this island in mind because there is something we're going to want to come back and, and collect here. But if we come over to this one to the one side of Shark Island. I don't even know why I pulled out the wind worker at that point. But we will find yet another withered tree.
Alrighty, our next destination is going to be Great Fish Isle. And if we go ahead and climb this spiral here on Great Fish Isle, this is actually a spiral uh, spiral we use to um, to fly from to get a heart piece here on Great Fish Isle. If Link would stop um, running into the wall, we can find yet another withered tree. And now from here, we just need to fall down, and then we need to sail southwest, or yeah, southwest towards Needle Point Isle. Alrighty, and now here on Needle Point Isle, our withered, uh, withered tree is actually going to be up near where the chest was that we got the piece of heart in when we first visited this island. Yep, right here. What the? It's a good thing that we can use this stuff infinitely, because otherwise that would have been so dumb. But alright, so. Next step is going to be, we're actually going to sail towards the private oasis, because that's where our next uh, withered tree is. Okay, so, now that we are here at the private oasis, go ahead and climb up here, and the um, tree should be, yep, right over here. Alrighty, there we go. And now our uh, third to last stop is going to be up by the eastern fairy isle that is north of the Tower of the Gods. Alrighty. So, here we are on the eastern fairy isle. This one's just kind of right next to the uh, to the fairy fountain. You know, it's not really hard to not really hard to miss. I'm actually gonna check and see if the Okay, he's still here, but can we... Are we able to, you know, kind of reap his rewards? No. We can only take it from one at, one of each, I guess. I don't know why I thought that you could. But anyway. We're going to go ahead and warp over to Tingle Island, because the last two locations that we need to put uh, water trees in are actually places we have not particularly been to. Our first stop is going to be this location, which I don't see the map. Oh, there's the map fish. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and grab him real quick. Here we have Mother and Child Isles. And here he says that there's inside of this island is a beautiful fairy. So we're going to have to remember that because this island is actually important for two very particular reasons. Both of which we will not know about until later on. Anyway, the withered tree is just right up here. Actually, I just realized that uh, something that's here is actually not here at this mo very moment. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, the final location that we want to go to is going to be directly north of um, north of Mother and Child Isle. Like, literally directly north, even though the rain is wanting to block us out. Alright, here we are. And one. Uh, let's go ahead and grab. Oops. I wanted to grab the map fish, but I guess not. And because, like I said, when you run into those things, and you're using the swift sail, like you get rocketed and to the uh, into oblivion. Or I guess, like the boat goes farther than it should. 
but all right. So the map fish and this treasure are kind of in the same place. So I'm going to get both of them. Here's a silver rupee. And now let's throw the bait. And he will write in Star Island. Alright, so now that we are on Star Island, the uh, last uh, um, withered tree is going to be straight in the center. So all we have to do is, you know, dump water on it, and it'll grow. And our reward for watering all of them is a piece of heart. We've collected three so far, only one more to go, and we get another heart container. And with that, that's basically finally it. That's all I wanted to take care of before we head back to the Forsaken Fortress for another time. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we're going to be doing what the only thing that is left here on Star Island, as it is not that long, literally it's just like a little combat cave, and then we're going to finally be heading off to that silhouette in the distance as we are finally ready to go back to the Forsaken Fortress. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, troops out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you've not already. And I will see you guys all later.